Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Token here. Welcome to episode 23 of Let's Play Europa Universalis with the goal of achieving uh, the Mara Nostrum achievement, or completing it, I should say. Uh, we are pl we're playing as Florence, but we're doing good, so now it's Italy, and we, as you can see, we are in the middle of a big war. It started off with just Spain being involved, but the Ottomans have decided to intervene. No problem. That we're doing rather nice against both of these parties, and uh, despite the Ottomans being our only real rival left, except coalitions at this point, because Ming is uh, severely behind in tech, and besides, they don't play major role in uh, completing Mare Nostrum, unlike World Conquest. Uh, we are not particularly afraid of the Ottomans because of one simple fact, and that fact is happening right here in Tyrrhenian Sea and that is our naval superiority being achieved uh, absolutely and completely. So in last episode we have concluded it by creating a sound strategic plan as to how to divide our three main armies and march into Italy, Africa and France to finish Lorraine and then move uh, back to the southern front. Now, so our naval dominance is established, as you can see, the Ottomans have lost everything, I should say. I think that wouldn't be an understatement, actually. Uh, just to say that they have lost their entire navy, which matters. So, let's detach ships that need repair. I think a lot of these actually need repair. So, first and foremost, we're going to fire this admiral. Uh, he didn't prove to be particularly useful because the Moroccans provided a superior one. So let's hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean and continue uh, maintaining naval superiority. The important part is that although Ottoman ground troops are formidable both in number and uh, quality I suppose still, we should be able to defeat the enemy by uh, having much better maneuverability. And plus, we really can afford to pay more than our... Excuse me, this is a little too expensive, it weren't supposed to be mercenaries. We can afford to fight the Ottomans on our terms. So we're going to buy some infantry plus artillery for the main army which is going towards Italy. So that they have superior... Or I should say... Uh, What's the word again? A right is not the term, I think I should say. Uh, substantial and uh, good enough firepower to confront Ottoman armies. E yes, let's let's put it that way. What are they going now? The Spain, Spanish. They're going to see. Fine by me. As you can see, Iberia is under our tight grip and control, so this is most welcome. We will keep this small unit here in case the Spanish decide to return. It's mostly infantry and they will stay here on a holiday. Now our forces are going to cross uh, Gibraltar and move into northern Africa and strike out the Portuguese first, as to relieve uh, Moroccans. It should be a good place to fight and this should uh, demoralize and destabilize uh, the Portuguese entirely. So let's uh, get these troops prepared. This will not last, I can assure you of that. This uh, navy will be rounded up uh, effectively soon enough. Oh my my, uh, this is a lot of ships actually. Let's send in this transport fleet to Spain because most likely it will be needed there a little more than uh, what it's currently doing. Uh, since we can afford it, let's upgrade these ships and add them to our trade fleet. Right now I think that the biggest profit will be to continue sending money from Sevilla into Genoa. As you can see we are cashing in a crazy amount of money. We dominate this trade node almost entirely. And we have a lot of money incoming, mostly from Sevilla, so this point of expansion is the most profitable one, as you can see right now. We are getting tons of money from the Caribbean. Some from Safi, but mostly, as you can see, uh, are incoming. It's mostly Caribbean and Ivory Coast. 
So controlling Sevilla allows us to cash in on the entire African and Caribbean trade, na trade nodes without spending a dime to colonize it ourselves. So I should say good investment. Though I suppose our enemies wouldn't find it that agreeable on their side. But we don't really have to care about that. Lucky for us. Let's move this uh, 10 heavy ship fleet to Bay of Napoli and to Straits of Messina. Uh, our intent is to reach, uh, though they actually are going to fight us, so let's send the main troop. Uh, our intention is to reach uh, Gulf of Venice and then move towards uh, the eastern part of the Mediterranean in order to get control of Ottoman coastline, blockade the hell out of them and benefit from that uh, considerably. We're going to now move into our heartland. As you can see, the fort in Canton is paying its dividend as it's blocking enemy progress towards our heartland. So, an investment that pays itself off almost immediately after being created. That's my definition of a really good investment. Now, we have a battle here, and the one that we are going to lose, unfortunately. We can't really contend against 11 galleys. So let's get the hell out of that. And losing two galleys isn't that of a big of a problem. Uh, losing uh, heavy ships would be more expensive, but truth be told, at the moment we can't afford both. Oh, Moroccans are helping us nicely. And this is good, good to hear. Excuse me, had a little sound problem. So Moroccans are helping us rather nicely as you can see. They are going to leave this siege though it wasn't in any danger of falling. Unlike home, which is amazing, but... Uh, what is this? We ah yeah, there's a battle in uh, Africa, which we almost completely forgot about. Now, uh, where are they going again? Dra. Well, let's chase them off the continent. And then see what happens next. Move to Africa and then get back to work over the Ottomans. Now, the point right now and the main goal of our troop movement is to relieve this siege. Uh, home is a powerful keep. Uh, well developed. Well, it's not that well developed, but it has amazing defensiveness and. I'm convinced that I should improve it uh, furthermore, as it has proven to be, as you could say, a real cock block for the Ottoman forces on their way towards, uh, uh, excuse me, our mainland, just as Canton is in Alps. So let's go to Hum and say hi. And, <laughs> whoa, Sweden now, yeah, we don't really care about that that much. The participation is absolutely trivial in comparison just as the Portuguese who are going to get kicked right now out of this conflict the main focus are the Ottomans and that's what is absorbing our attention right now and this will be a stack wipe and whom must be taken ASAP uh, let's not waste resources on these people and just piece them out we don't really... Ooh, uh, France Alliance now. Military access. Okay, that's that's irrelevant. They are just a money button at this point, though we don't really need money. Good false religion just for the lols. Though actually, forcing them to be our vassal... Ah, uh, no, not worth it. Too much aggressive expansion. Despite the fact that we have ridiculous numbers of aggressive expansion, we don't want to overdo it because there is, I think, still a, a value in keeping it at a reasonable level, shall we say. Okay, so this is looking nice. We are retaking the coastline. A stack wipe in the Portuguese forces, the level 6 shock general has been eliminated. We're not going to stay here, of course, and deal with uh, Moroccan provinces. We're going to move to Africa. As you can see, and uh, once we re-establish our position over here, we'll start building up some mercenaries to reinforce that army. So the Swedish conflict is over. We didn't participate at all. 
And I, we can see Sweden has taken the sweet, sweet Sjalland province and have gotten themselves South Pole over Baltic. So I suppose Lubeck should become quite a valuable for them, though of course when compared to Genoa, it's a poor man's uh, trade mode. Regardless, good job Swedes, we don't really mind them being successful as they are not our enemy in, uh, whatsoever. Let's move towards Boom and hurry up. This will be a major battle. I hope we can actually win it. We will have the advantage of fighting in the mountains, but still it might not be the cheapest battle. It will be the first engagement we have against the Ottomans as well. So let's use it as an opportunity to measure our enemy's efficiency and see whether our treatment of them thus far was... Uh, well grounded. We need Sweden in this conflict. We'll see. So immediately I see the enemy is uh, in really bad army composition. And uh, well, they are doing blood fire damage with us artillery, but we are shocking them into oblivion. And that, I must say, though, no, they are quite the enemy. Really, morale is on our side. And that's what won us the game, but yeah, they, they dealt us decent casualties considering their army composition and I only wonder what would have happened had they had their artillery covered from the start. I don't think we're going to find out it at all, ever, so yeah, one of those mysteries of the world we'll never find out. So the first engagement with the Ottomans has been trivial, uh, let's get mercenaries to help in getting uh, this area back under our control. Now the Ottomans have been defeated in this first engagement. This is good, this is welcome. This is welcome news. Let's one more ship just to blockade Dalmatia, get it on our side and then move forward towards the Ottoman heartland. Are they at war with us? Yeah, but, uh, they were doing something irrelevant. Just an auto reaction for me to just press the button. And perhaps to automate it be a little more conservative with my clicking. Yeah, we don't really need that cavalry all that much here, so we can just send them to Zagreb and get those provinces back under our control. Now the second army by, led by Mr. John Bacorta is coming, it can go to Smednevo. Afterwards we'll start thinking about going in here. Though truth be told, I think we're not going to focus on the Balkans that much. We will move to the heart of the matter, and that is Bosphorus, of course. We have the naval superiority, so there is really no uh, reason to let the enemy march through Bosphorus at all. This is looking nice. Our forces are moving towards Africa, so fronts are established. And the goal of this is to get Ottomans... Uh, is to show Ottomans who's boss, submit them, and then uh, get more land from Spain. Now, what we'll be interested in regarding Spanish coastlines. Granada and Cadiz are essential. Additionally, uh, a coastline over here could be nice to get. Though Lisbona would be amazing. And I think that's the limit, actually, considering how much over extension we'd get. Uh, we can't wait enough for absolutism to kick in, and that is nearing sooner and sooner. Faster and faster, excuse me. So let's hope for that and get absolutism up and running. Of course, I have actually decided that I'm not going to use any strategies that involve maximizing absolutism value ASAP. Now we won't be doing that because frankly I don't think we really need to. And I find it more engaging and entertaining in the game to actually um, don't do such things and just get it uh, gradually. Perhaps not at it as intended as there's no limit so, so there's that but uh, it's more engaging to me. So that's my reasoning for that. Oh, can these troops actually defend themselves against uh, this? I suppose they can, but these battle battles will be won. The enemy is moving towards Zeta. 
I'm starting to have my concerns whether I shouldn't get involved in this battle. I come to think of it, I see no reason why not get one more mercenaries to get Istria out of enemy control. Uh, the enemy fleet is completely blocked, but I think we should actually hunt more fleets in the Mediterranean. It might be more valuable. The enemy is moving rather hard on us, and should we stay and fight? I don't think we should underestimate the Ottomans, so we'll see what happens. The enemy has decided to stop moving into Smerdnevo, which is good. We never can be sure whether they not decide to do so again. I think going to Smedneville will be the wiser choice here. And waiting for waiting for this battle's conclusion. It won't be a long battle, we will be exterminated. Be the most reasonable choice. As enemy forces are moving towards home, I think it shouldn't be a problem. Egypt is under enemy's control more and more. This is fine, this is what we wanted. Now we can unite these forces and reinforce um, any battles on the front line with the Ottomans. Now as to where the enemy is going, it's a good question actually. One that is uh, hell hellishly confusing right now. I have no idea where the Ottomans are planning to go. If they are moving towards these hills, well, we can say hello to them and just attack them right now in Bosnia. It will give us minus one, so do we want to do that, actually? I think not really. I think we actually want to move to Visoki and kill additional thousand inf uh, artillery troops. A thousand artillery might uh, mean something later on and uh, well it means actually it's a problem every single artillery unit is a problem if it can stay still safe and fire so let's exterminate that move to actually wait a few days and make up our mind we'll crush this army pretty convincingly so let's do a little split it's an additional five artillery plus three infantry units towards Smednevo and the rest of our army will defeat this locked Ottoman troops which are marching towards whom? A superior fort. And yeah, this battle is lost. We have dealt decent casualties. The problem is that it were regular troops so I made a mistake right there. Let's uh... Now this is a problem. The Polish are coming and this is a really good army. Quality has been proven in the war the coalition. We lack discipline severely right now, so we could get Mr. Mr. Discipline, and I think we can't actually afford him. With all those point costs, I think this is the wisest thing to do right now. Get the Discipline Man, get reinforcements, kill this army, then move back ASAP towards Medneba to reinforce, because this will be a long and arduous battle. So I hope this will be a quick extermination. My, that's a lot of Ottomans coming. They weren't lying with their power. Uh, we are executing them rather effectively during this shock phase. As you can see, the numbers are on our side, but the Polish will be in soon enough. Or will they, actually? Yeah, they will the next day. And here you go, the Polish are here, and now the battle is now the battle line is redrawn and it's far more even than we'd like to. This is an extermination. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a stack line. And indeed we do. 16,000 Ottomans disappearing in a puff of smoke. That's what good tactical maneuvering means. Now we don't want the Spanish to take this province away and even less so we'd like the Moroccans to get a control here. So let's be on our feet. Excuse me, why are you repair? Oh yeah, you can repair yourself. You have the... Well, you can do that. You you just repair yourself, and our troops have arrived in in Egypt. In excuse me, in Africa. So let's start working on retaking these provinces and doing the right thing. And right now we can say that the Ottomans are dangerous, but we are able to confront them on equal terms. Certainly not someone who is defensive. 
In fire phase, actually, we're dealing a tremendous amount of damage, and yeah, we're doing fine. Better um, army composition, certainly playing to our advantage, though right now our artillery is exposed. And we need those reinforcements ASAP. This is costly manpower-wise, and the enemy has a lot of reinforcements. Let's just get the hand to the fray and see if we can do that. Right now, uh, hell yeah, the maneuvering crossing penalty. This is a lost battle. We are taking tremendous damage. We need to get out of there ASAP. And my my, we actually... This battle was actually, let's see... Quite inconclusive. The enemy has lost more than us. Yeah, they did lose more. And I think the Polish troops have actually saved the Ottomans from annihilation. So, it's not the Ottomans we should be afraid of, it's the Polish. Surprise and surprise, right? The Polish are particularly capable warriors in Europa Universalis and in real life as well. Historically speaking. Now, let's see what are the army's casualties and do we need to consolidate some regiments to preserve manpower? And I think we will do just that here after we arrive to a safe haven. So, without further ado, let's start spending some money and rebuild our infantry line because we'll need a lot of infantry. Hmm. We need some scouting to be done. And to do that, we're actually going to sail to Bosporus and see what's going out out there. Because, well, we need to know what can we expect of this pro of this area and if there are forts here. If there are not, we will land here and just surprise our enemies um, considerably. A mistake by the Ottomans to give up Polish troops there were the reason they were able to confront us in the first place on equal footing. And this mistake will cost them dearly, I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, soon enough. We still are saving on uh, trade power. We'll get French and the Swedish into this conflict with the Ottomans. And I think that actually could be viable, valuable. Yes, there's no point in uh, fighting the enemy alone, where you can just use your allies to fight them for you. Especially France, who inevitably in time will become our enemy, so let's just use their resources so that we don't have to uh, deal with them ourselves. And as the enemy is back in the Balkans, we will reconsolidate our force. Let's get a few artillery units. A few artillery units more. Actually, this will be for the army that stays. Uh, because we will do a naval assault on Bosphorus. I think it is the best course of action right now. And what is this? A free tra uh, tra transport ship? Why is it not there yet? And it looks as if uh, the Bosphorus was uh, ripe for the taking. How is Africa looking, boys? Not bad, I see. So let's keep on paddling and move towards the African front. I think we uh, we can easily take an army without cavalry. But I think just for safe measure, let's increase your infantry numbers so that you can have enough meat shields to deal with all that is coming your way. Now this unit is certainly being reconsolidated. And yeah, we took uh, Cadiz back from the Spanish. We will now siege it up. So that uh, the Moroccans don't take it, God forbid. That would be horrible. We want the problems for ourselves. Now this infantry line will be reconsolidated. And let's wait until these troops arrive. Okay, let's work now on our infantry regiments. We don't need that much infantry, we can just consolidate them. What about cavalry? Do you want to spend 3,000 uh, men on cavalry? And I think we actually do. Now, you, sir, have 16 artillery units. You will get additional four. 
you are going to visit our friends at the homeland, so that requires some troop movement. Now let's get to Gulf of Venice. I see that Slays of Bosphorus are just asking to be taken and that will split enemy forces in twain. That being said, let's reinforce this army with some additional mercenaries. They, oh well, we are doing some hiring, I, su I suppose. A lot of hiring indeed. Africanic front is equally important. We want to take Alexandria, Rashid, Cairo would be nice as well. It's a 40 development province after all. And with, we are rather comfortable with, situa with the current situation. Back tax in Cesari, nobility is less lo loyal. We can't afford uh, to lose morale of army, so we are taking this. Nobility is still loyal, despite the fact that they don't like us that much. So it's all okay, I suppose. And asking for another contribution, I think that's actually pushing it. We don't need money from the burgers right now. So yeah, actually, let's... Uh, we form this line. Good, one regiment less. This army is a perfect to start working on. Uh, let's speed things up. Let's just move here like that. This army is perfect for assaulting enemy on the, co uh, on, uh, the Bosphorus Strait. Right, right. So let's move. Let's escort these units because this this is a lot of money invested in these troops. And we, excuse me, the commander. No, he's not good. That was hard. And now these troops need to rearrange, and Mr. Gamba Corta, Jamba Corta, will focus on defending our homeland and those mountainous provinces. And it should be all good and well. We could land in Dalmatia, of course, and exterminate these troops. There's no problem in that. We do control that fort after all. Now, let's see how big are his troops are. He is severely lacking on artillery, which will be changed with this recruitment. This recruitment, excuse me. Excellent, let's move towards the line and welcome our enemies in the right kind of way. Now, this doesn't look good, the enemy is moving and our main fleet is still away. We need to buy additional ships against the Ottomans. Is to re-establish our naval superiority? I think the answer is actually yes. Who would have thought that after showing the enemy where his place is, we'd have to do it again so fast? Oh well, uh, ten more heavies should do the trick, I suppose. And it's a pity we lose the, we, lo we lost all these ships. The enemy has outmaneuvered us considerably. We won't be able to save any of them. So six heavies lost. A horrible loss, actually. Around well, that will haunt us for some time now. And uh, one more cannon, just to make ourselves feel a little better, I suppose. So, yeah, our transport fleet is moving where it should. Right now, we. Where, where, has the, where have the. Yeah, they are here. Let's just make it safe. A safe trip for our navy and uh, this army should move to Bosporus ASAP. A surprise attack will certainly be engaging and entertaining. And taking this will not be easy, those mountainous forts and hill forts will be a good shield for us. I believe Mr. Jamba Corsa can certainly show enemy how is it done on the defensive field? So good, our navy is sailing unobstructed. This is uh, fine, I suppose. 
and we'll land in Biga and send additional troops to Ko Kotaeli. Kotaeli, I suppose. So yeah, excellent. Uh, big naval assault uh, is coming, though we lost a lot of troops while holding them on those ships. Oh well. Some attrition damage. We'll need to send uh, part of this army after the, we take this province back on ships and to Kokeli so that we block an uh, enemy completely. This army, I mean. Fine, fine. And uh, we intend to enact Golden Age just before the Age of Absolutism starts. And that's as far as I'm willing to go with the more experimental strategies on getting max absolutism. Let's get back to Egypt and do some uh, re liberating there from the Ottoman oppressor. Oh, interesting. Good thing we're not Catholic and even more so we're not interested in colonizing uh, enemy whatsoever. Well, the enemy is trying to get back to uh, his holdings in, in Iberia, but to no avail. That sweet, sweet attrition damage is ticking hard for the enemy. Let's keep it ticking. 63,000 troops lost due to attrition from the Ottomans. Lovely. It will only grow better. Now that artillery is here, this army can come Constantly fight on equal footing. Shall we unlock tech, and that will give our cavalry some more oomph, so to speak, which will be most welcome. Okay, so the troops have landed. Let's get these units back on. Well, we can just walk there, so even better. I hope they don't have a uh, thirty thousand. Uh, safety measure army here just to kill these guys because oh uh, well you should try to go towards uh, the Balkans uh, quickly but I think you will find it difficult to cross the bow oh, they have an army after all but this is the weak one from Egypt so I suppose we should be able to deal with it and let's make the enemy troubled by being constantly near uh, the front line so that the enemy knows that the moment they decide to get involved. Oh, this is safe, we should kill them easily. So that the enemy knows that the moment he decides to do some troop movement, we will react with a 30 over 30,000 army. Excellent, Egypt is being slowly retaken for us, which is good. Always saves you some. Uh, War exhaustion. And that Defender of Faith is actually paying a lot of dividend. So this should be a beautiful slaughter. And yeah, we should lose this extensively. Let's see if I should come in here soon. Yeah, this is an even battle, but we are superior morale wise and this um, morale wise. That's good enough to kick the Ottomans out of uh, this area and they will not be able to secure this province. Uh, we're marching towards. I shall actually leave a small contingency force so that uh, they can't cross this anyway. We are holding 100% control over the Bosphorus, so it is ours indeed. Let's just send additional ships in case the enemy decides to do something funny about it. And go, the Straits of Bosphorus are ours, enemy should not be able to cross at all. Let's start working on enemy power base in Anatolia. This is the heart of the Turkish Empire and we'll make sure to ravage that heart as much as possible and as fast as possible. Excuse me. Looking nice, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are working on uh, Egypt effectively. And yeah, well, the Spanish wants a peace out, but this isn't about the Spanish anymore, no, sir. This hasn't been about the Spanish for quite a while now. It's all about those Ottomans. They are the ones that matter, and actually, we're going to get them out of Dalmatia. 
Another thousand horsemen. Useful. Uh, so that's how you do it. You land in Bosphorus. If it's not defended by forts, you just take forts. Excuse me, take the provinces, block the straits, and cut the enemy in half. Take the most developed, richest provinces they have, and the most important trade node. Get it devastated. And that's how you deal with the unbeatable Ottoman with unbeatable Ottomans. Rest is history, I suppose. Or will be history soon enough. And while they do have 100,000 troops in Dalmatia gathered, no point in overstaying our welcome, we can just safely retreat and actually dispatch some uh, artillery units to stay even further behind so that we don't suffer from attrition damage. That's something the Ottomans have in mind and they have lost 70,000 troops due to attrition already. As you can see, the manpower reserves are being drained. Even with that force limit, we are beating them with half of that they have. All due to more economical, economical use of our manpower reserves. And yeah, um, this is looking fine, despite the fact that the enemy has huge numbers in Balkans. They can't do anything about them. Whatever they do, I, I wonder how much attrition damage they actually are taking right now. And let's check it out. Yeah, they aren't. They are recovering, but that recovery is indeed painful. So, technology level 17, additional cavalry shock, which I think means the top of what cavalry can do for quite a while now. If I remember tech trees correctly. We'll make sure to invest more in artillery and infantry from now on, as we have begun already. Okay, so Kazir is ours, Egypt is liberated. I'm sure the Egyptians are glad that they don't have to suffer under the yolk of oppression. Because they were suffering, right? I'm sure they were. Excuse me, could you move out of my province, Mr. French? I don't like to take unnecessary attrition. And this isn't a good idea. You are moving towards Dalmatia. Definitely needs an upgrade. With uh, twenty, with 30,000 troops against 100,000 now. Oh, this is more sensible. Okay, so we are living off the enemy's heartland. Good job. The knights have occupied Dubrovnik. Oh my, now this this is bad. This is bad news, knights. I think you need a lesson in humidity. And that lesson might come. Sooner rather than later. Excellent Egypt is ours. Let's move forward. And the battle for Egypt actually is a particularly important now that we have the world trade and we know what's happening in Asia. Once we deal with uh, Ottoman hold over Egypt and take control of Alexandrian trade node, we'll start developing towards the Horn of Africa, Gulf of Aden, to start building some trade companies in uh, Zanzibar region. As you can see, Kilwa is controlling it considerably and convincingly not for long if I have to do, if I have a say about that. And we'll start plundering the riches of India and Indochina. If time permits, of course, because uh, our priority still is, uh, of course, the Mediterranean. Good, good, and yep, the uh, manpower reserves are dwindling in the fact. Let's even speed this up, for oh, our forts are amazing and holding. Alexandria is ours. Excellent. Rashid can be safely taken. Same goes for Dumyat. Let's do it. The Siege of Cairo is the next goal. Their fort is bad. And do we, we don't really need to speed things up here. The enemy is 
stomping. He was being stomped by attrition in the balcony. What is that? Are they going to relieve the siege? And yeah, the French, well, they land, they won. Uh, it did hold long still. The French are being slaughtered by the dozen. Unfortunate, but yeah, this is what they're good for. They are useful resources for all intents and purposes. Let's attack. Oh, we won't be able to attack the enemy. Well, let's just not fight that. There's no real need for that. And holding the marshes is good enough. The enemy is still suffering heavy attrition damage for no other reason than bad uh, commanding. As we take Cairo, we will be able to secure the Middle East, uh, com excuse me, convincingly, and that will be another important part of our strategy development. Oh, uh, how's going on in Spain? I see peacefully land is being actually restored right now. So, oh yeah, and then the Moroccans are actually moving towards uh, the Canaries. You go Moroccans, good job. I think we need fleet to go to Gaza and Sinai. Oh, we just need to end the siege of uh, Cairo. Excuse me, and who is... Uh... Oh, these are woods. We're not going anywhere near woods. How are we? We're not. We're just going to park here and wait. Uh, swamps are perfect for defense and good luck with this fort, Ottomans. Actually, so Ankara is ours. Let's move to another trade center in Sinop. And meanwhile, the locust has, is spreading. We are moving everywhere in Anatolia. What is our war score against the Ottomans themselves? 8% already. Constantinople needs to be taken east. I would prefer to take Constantinople and Edian in this war against the Ottomans. Because it has a fort, I'd fortify this a little more and then hold Balkans in my grasp as I see fit. But no matter. Is it going back? No, it's not going back under enemy control. Good. No matter. It's still going excellent and oh my god those french casualties what are you doing french why are you wasting so many of your soldiers i mean seriously and from the beginning of this war you've already lost 22,000 men while i've lost 50. really and did i lose the 50. yeah i lost oh my god i lost actually 67 my mistake thousand they lost 30 so no the french aren't clever so, and the Ottomans, 92,000 attrition damage, my lord. This is ridiculous. So, Cairo is ours, excellent. Gaza, Nablus, Sinai, and Jerusalem will be next on the chopping block. The Lotus spreads in Anatolia with no one to stop it at all. Oh, this isn't nice. Gentlemen, you should know not to disrupt ceremonies because they are, in fact, important. Oh, trading in cloth happens to us. How come? I think it's because we control Anatolian, uh, excuse me, uh, Alexandrian trade mode. Transfer, and we are getting more control in the Constantinople trade mode. Let's actually check it out. Trade uh, bonuses are very powerful. See your market share. Well, we do dominate uh, wine trade. We are the production, after all, one third in the world. And this is nice as well. Mercenary maintenance minus 50% will ease off uh, treasury burdens on us, though we aren't suffering big burdens right now. Looking good, I'd say. So, uh, Zagreb. The enemy can't cross the line and get to more attractive locations, especially that home is still not taken. If they decide to siege home, this will be a bloody battlefield. I'd love to actually have the policy of land attrition, because this will limit our casualties even more. And it will be simply nice for long-term uh, conflicts, like the one we are in now. now. Oh, this is a big fortress. Now, I suppose we should shoot it. 
and I think we will. Metallo metallurgy, locked. Almost there, more state administrative efficiency. Tech 17 will be big for us. And can't wait to actually get there. Though this is dangerous. I think we should respect Ottoman presence in Anatolia still. We want to move for further. No, not right now. Let's get the hell out of here and just move towards a safe location. We don't want to get uh, stupidly stack wiped and lose some troops. That's good for the Ottomans to do. I wish them would just. I wish the enemy would just move to whom, stay there, and get uh, massacred by attrition. But you can't have everything in life. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. We'll finish this episode, which I think we should actually call "How to Deal with the Ottomans 101 Art Middle Game." Uh, it's been enjoyable, it's been a blast. Uh, all things considered, we are crushing our enemy and this war will be incredibly beneficial to us in the long run. If you enjoy the show, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate your uh, interactions with me. I hope to see you again next time and until then, toodles and bye-bye.